Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is another video to talk about uh, reasons why your upgrades to Windows 10 newer versions or Windows updates can go wrong. Um, like I say, 95% of the time it has to do with um, other factors than Windows itself. Well, one of them is the fact that you're not patient enough. We all have our patience threshold and we all have our moments when we think, well, maybe this is too long, maybe it's not doing anything. And as a tech guy, I've noticed that very often people don't wait long enough. So when you go to update and security and you click that update and you start seeing all the procedure going on, one of the biggest mistakes I think everybody does is to stand there and stare at their screen looking at the install phase and you start seeing the percentage go through one two three four ten twenty forty percent and if it's stuck at one percentage point for more than you know five ten minutes one of the biggest mistakes of a lot of people is to shut down the computer or restart the computer in the middle of that process this is important not to do so. It's important to have patience. The um, problem with um, restarting or shutting down while it's updating can actually create corrupt files or problems with the files themselves for the Windows update or an update that is halfway through. Then you are into serious problems when you restart. It might not work. A lot of people that, you know, will come here and say, well, you know, that update just messed up my computer. I can bet you that a big part of those that did come here with a comment like that, actually, they won't say it because they don't want, you know, to look like fools. But a lot of them, I'm pretty sure, just sh stopped the update in the middle of what it was doing because they thought it was too long. And that happens a lot more than we think. It's one of the major problems. As a tech guy, I've seen this so many times. Um, you know, they don't tell you, but as you continue and you start, you know, going through why the computer isn't starting, as you talk, you finally get a little bit more messages and you finally understand, oh, so you shut down the computer in the middle of the update because you thought it was maybe stuck. Um, <clears throat> so be patient, of course, Updates have a limit of time also. If you, for example, install a Windows update and it takes six hours, it's not normal. No computer, even a slow one with regular patch Tuesday updates, takes six hours to update. If it does take six hours, something might be wrong with your system. But it doesn't take two minutes either. So just, you know, start the update. And do something else. Avoid looking at your PC every two minutes. Because that's the worst part. Because when you stare at the update process, every minute looks like it's 20 minutes. And so you have the impression that you know things are not moving and nothing's happening. But in reality, in the background, a lot of things happen. And Windows Update has this weird way of installing updates sometimes where you'll go through a process of say one to you know 50% in a very very quick way and then at some point you're um, stuck at 50% or at 60% and it doesn't seem to move or do anything but in reality is actually it is working it is doing something so it's important to not interrupt that process uh, it's one of the common mistakes and the common problems of Windows updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.